Hello, I'm Jeff McNeil, and this is my review of Uncharted 2 Among Thieves. This is the version taken from the Nathan Drake collection. Okay. As Nathan Drake, one part adventurer, one part oh, treasure hunter, you're on the search for Shambhala and the Chitani stone w held within it. Following the trail of Marco Polo, Go, go, go. You go from urban environments to jungles, ruins, and far beyond. But when there is money involved and potential magical powers, you better believe that evil forces are going to be involved. The story is very much a classic Indiana Jones style adventure. It doesn't really do anything special, but okay. it's perfectly functional for this type of story. Now, one big advantage it has over the first game is it tends to play things a bit lighter. The original Uncharted played things very straight. From beginning to end, it was just a very bland adventure game and story. On the other hand, Uncharted 2 takes much more adventurous spirit with their characters. There's still a seriousness to the tone when things start hitting the fan, but it's not as dry. There's a lot more humor, a lot more interesting moments. Nathan Drake gets beat up a lot more. But the, the story is decent enough, and it's held together much better than the first game, thanks to the strong characters. Even though the villain is just straight up a Bond villain. I mean, you can't even joke about it this time. Graphically, the game is really solid. One issue I had was the first game was how bland and unoriginal the game looked. You spent all your time in jungles and ruins and there was only one area that was different. And that was right near the end of the game and that was kind of it. Uncharted 2 spends much more time in interesting environments. Like, right off here, we're doing... Like, this whole level is called Urban Warfare. So you're fighting through a city. Um, you do do ruins and jungles, but it's far less omnipresent as it was in the first game. So, the greater variety of environments really helps. In terms of sound effects, well, it is decent enough. The sound is a bit punchier this time than in the first game. The first game was a little muted in places, but overall, this is a general improvement in, this, in the sound effect department. Music is quite a bit better than the first game. The first game was very muted in terms of music. There was music, but it wasn't very pronounced. A lot of it was just ambient sound effects, but the greater emphasis on actual music, I think, is definitely to the game's improvements. Voices are also a fairly significant step up compared to the first game. Nathan Drake himself is a lot more fun. There's still a bit of cheese involved but it has a lot takes a lot more fun of itself and it, it seems to understand that this is kind of silly and kind of stupid now in terms of gameplay the game actually has changed quite a bit it is still a standard third person shooter with cover mechanics and a lot of Over jumping. Here. But right. stealth is actually a much bigger part than it was in the first game. Yeah, th there was 
technically stealth in the first game, but it really wasn't all that helpful, just due to the way enemies were laid out. You have many, many more options when it comes to stealth, and it is much more viable than in the first game. Gunplay is still really good. It's a lot more balanced. Uh, handguns are no longer God's middle finger to terrorists, and your large assault weapons are a lot better. Whether it's shotguns, machine guns, anything of that nature, you are going to be using them a lot more often than you were in the first game. So, it is much, much more balanced, much more interesting gameplay. And it definitely to the game's improvement that everything feels better. There, there still is a bit of awkwardness in some of the combat, but it is a lot more balanced, a lot more interesting. There are no more sniper rifle grenade launchers, which is just a wonderful thing because they were the worst thing it ever in the first game. I mean, they would literally snipe you across the map with insta-kill. And that was just awful. So, that's gone, which is just wonderful. Now, it's just a much better gameplay experience overall. Hand-to-hand -hand combat's improved. Oh, I just got shotgunned in the back because I wasn't paying attention. But the gameplay is a lot more fair, a lot more balanced. And there are less, I guess, gimmick sections. I mean, nobody really liked the boat sections in the first game. It was just kind of a pain in the butt. So I'm greatly impressed with the improvements they made to the game as a whole. So, th there's more, there's many, many more options. <clears throat> From different weapons, hand-to-hand -hand combat. Um, at the beginning, you saw me throw a propane tank and then grab it. So those are things you could not do in the original game, but they're basically much more common abilities you'll end up using in this game. So, yeah, it's, it's just a, a general improvement over the first game in most ways. It's not perfect by any stretch of the imagination, and there, there are still some awkward moments. There's still a lot of overabundance of dudes, and add on to that, we've gone to straight Bond villain territory, where villains have a literally unlimited military budget, tens of bajillions of guys, and it, it is a little silly in places, but this is generally a much, much improved game compared to the first. So, this has been Jeff McNeil. Thank you for joining me, and I will see you next time.